Hi, Scorpios. What's going on? Peace, love, and light to you guys. This is Tasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot, and I am back. Sorry, guys. I had to get a drink of water. What's going on, family? Peace, love, and light to you guys. So, guys, I was actually recording a video, and my phone just literally shut off. So, I am going to redo you guys' this message it again, okay? Peace, love, and light to you guys. So let's go ahead and get started, Scorpios. Definitely hit that like, comment, share, and subscribe if you are new. Thank you so much for stopping by. So we're going to try this again, Scorpio. <laughs> wow, when just when it was getting good, the story, the storyline here, what Spirit was showing me for you guys, and that's when everything turned off. So let's get into this, Scorpios. Holy Spirit, I call upon you right now to join me in this reading. Let no weapon form against me or my Scorpio stinger shall prosper. I speak of peace, love, light, and healing energy into everyone's spirit who is watching me today in Jesus' name. Please protect us from any evil eyes, witchcraft, voodoo, anything that's not of our highest good. I cast it back to its original owner in Jesus' name. And it is so. Amen and amen. All right. So first card we have is the number 14. Message of concern. Okay. So someone may reach out to you. You may get a text message, an email, a phone call, a DM. All right. Oh, we have the number 16, thoughts. Whoever this is that's reaching out to you guys, this is someone that has been thinking about you a lot. You've been on someone, someone's mind heavy, and they want to reach out to you with a message of concern, like kind of a, how you doing? You know, how's things been going for you? Whatever this message is, someone, this may be a shocker to you guys, because you see her hand is over her heart here. So whatever you guys may read, it may come out of nowhere. Mm. Some of you guys could have been born on the 14th, the 16th, the 7th, or the 5th. But this person, whoever's reaching out to you, they've been thinking about you very heavily here. You know, you've been, in some, you've been on someone's mind. You've been heavy in their thoughts. And maybe they was thinking about you and wanted to reach out. Tell me more, Spirit for Scorpio. Tell me more for Scorpio. We have the number five, mature man. Hmm. Let me get one more. So whoever this is, this could be a father figure, a grandfather. Someone's grandfather could have been thinking about them and reach out to them to give them some type of message of concern. Even if this is not someone's grandfather or father, this can be an older gentleman. Hmm. We have the number 12, privileged lady. So someone looks at you as the empress, the mother, the goddess. The highest of the high. You have a lot of class, abundance, and growth with you. Very nurturing and caring energy. On the back, we have pathway. Okay. So let's dive deep into this, guys. Hmm. Someone here has been thinking about you. They want to reach out to you. I'm probably an older gentleman. Like I said, a grandfather. I'm seeing a lot of brown here. So someone may like the color brown or red. I'm seeing two desk ears. So whoever this mature person is, they're thinking about you. This is someone who maybe works in an office, has their own company or a business, someone who likes to study world geography or something, someone who's interested in history, someone who wears a lot of suits, clean cut type of person. Hmm. You're definitely heavy on someone's mind here. Tell me about what is this message of concern for Scorpio? Hmm. I'm getting with that privileged lady. You have a lot of access to things because privileged lady to me is more of the empress energy. So a lot of you guys, you have access to the divine. You have access to your spirit guides, your ancestors. You're very, um, very abundant, motherly like energy. You open doors that no one else can open or you have access to places. What is this message of concern for Scorpio? We have the star Aquarius energy. Put this over here. Tell me more about message of concern for Scorpio. This could be an Aquarius. And I'm sorry, some of you guys could have been born on the 5th, the 3rd, or the 12th here. Okay. Or this could be your person. Message of concern. Tell us about message of concern. I 
Oh, wow. So we have the Five of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So this person may be an Aquarius, or you have Aquarius somewhere within your chart. Back of the deck, we have Two of Cups, Ace of Cups, and Justice. So someone may reach out to you guys. You may be in separation from this person. This person may reach out to you, maybe asking for another chance to have a new opportunity. Someone has wanted to make things right after things have ended. Okay. And I'm also getting here, someone could be reaching out because whatever text message or phone call or whatever this is that may come to you from someone, it's kind of like I'm getting this may be a message of someone feeling defeated, stressed out. Hmm. Losing hope, feeling like their prayers are not being answered. Now, what I'm also getting here is that if you're in separation from this person, this person may be a little exaggerating when they reach out to you, maybe trying to manipulate you in some type of way to let you know that they're giving up, you know, they're not praying anymore, you know, they feel some type of way and all this other shit, you know, just to get you guys to get another chance. To start over, have a new union with, with you. But I'm going to dive a little deeper into that, uh, Scorpio. Tell me about thoughts. So this can go either way. Someone could be reaching out to you, being very manipulative, trying to get their way with you by using words. Trying to make you feel hopeless for them or something. Or whatever this message is, someone is like, I'm getting like a giving up energy. Someone feels like nothing is going right. They're losing faith, losing hope, feeling defeated. Tell me about thoughts. Tell me about thoughts. What is this about? Oops. Now, someone may reach out to you probably within the next 10 to 20 days. Maybe five to seven days. Tell me about thoughts. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Someone here feels like they lost an opportunity with you. They got you heavy on their mind. They missed a chance. We have, wow, four of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Wow, look at there, guys. My, my other phone just went off. So, yeah, this is a message. Someone is going to send you a message, guys. My phone just literally beat the other one. So, with the four of wands, okay. So, it seems to me someone is thinking about you very heavily, okay. They know that they've lost an opportunity with you guys. This person is thinking about home. Maybe you guys were married. You were living together. And they're thinking about you. How they lost the opportunity with you. This person is feeling lonely. Isolated here. Yeah. Hang on one second, guys. All right, guys, I am here. All right, so back to the reading. So what I'm getting here is that this person is thinking about maybe coming home, but they know they lost their opportunity. And for some reason, I feel like this person is going to reach out to you. They could be playing mind games to try to get you to feel sorry for them. Or This person could reach out and say they feel like, like, I keep getting like someone wants to give up. They're losing faith. They're losing hope. They're feeling defeated. They have you on their mind on, you know, 24-7, feeling like they lost the opportunity. All they can do is sit back and think about you. You know, this person feels like you are their twin flame. You're their other half. You may be seeing 11-11 or this person has seen 11-11 a lot with the twin flame numbers. Or maybe this person's thinking about the fact that they lost the opportunity to celebrate with you, to maybe move into a new home, because the four wands can also represent celebration or a home. So I'm kind of getting this person lost the opportunity to come back home. They're feeling lonely, isolated here, not wanting to start any more trouble or drama. But the thing is, this was a one-sided relationship. So you had no choice but to move on from them with a the chariot. Tell me about mature man. Tell me about... Oh, excuse me, mature man. I'm getting this can't be an Aquarius you're dealing with. Maybe a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Tell me about mature man. All right. Tell us about mature man. All 
All right, so we have the devil, Capricorn energy in the reverse. So I'm getting this person is trying to grow up. Someone is trying to be more mature now. Possibly trying to leave back their toxic ways in the past. Disconnecting from any low vibrational energies. Or maybe this is a person that you detach from. Tell me more about mature man. Ooh. Oh, too many spirit. Mature man, Holy Spirit. Tell me more. What does this mean for Scorpio? Tell me about mature man. Okay, so we're going to take this one. We have seven. Oh, wow. Seven of swords in the reverse. Okay, so it seems as though someone is trying to grow up now with this mature man energy. Someone is trying to mature, be a little bit more mature with their thoughts, their feelings, their actions, the way they're moving out here. And I feel like this person is trying to detach from their immature ways, being toxic, low vibration, obsessive, possessive. With the Seven of Swords being here, whoever this mature man is or mature woman, someone is ready to make things right with you. I'm getting this person is wanting to come home. They know in order for them to come home, they're going to have to leave their old ways behind. Okay? This person is ready to confess to you any wrongs that they may have done. Someone is basically wanting to right their wrongs and become a better person, leave their toxic ways behind. Ten of Swords, Three of Wands, Page of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like this person is going through something right now. Someone is maybe facing some type of betrayal, some type of defeat here. Things are not working out in their favor. And they're not, it's kind of like this person has wanted another opportunity. Yeah. But the thing is, this person was very non-committal, very narrow-minded here. And this person could have lied to you about something. And this will cause you to turn your back against them in the first place because they backed them and betrayed you. Now, this person is wanting to come in with an opportunity. They don't have much to bring to you. It's kind of like someone is wanting to have a new start in, this, in a relationship with you. But maybe they were too impulsive or didn't think before they speak or think before they act before. And it's kind of like you had to turn your back against this person because of their actions. So now... It's kind of like someone is growing up or someone is trying to mature to right their wrongs, maybe confess to you what they have done that maybe they never told you about, trying to detach from, you know, um, any negative entities, any negative people. They know that they backstab and betrayed you. Tell me about privileged lady. Tell me about privileged lady. 13, 13 on the timer, as I said that. So that message is for someone. This person I'm getting maybe could be a Gemini, a Taurus, Cancer, Leo, possibly an Aries, Pisces. All right. Tell me about Privileged Lady. Possibly a Capricorn is what I'm seeing, an Aquarius. Yeah. Tell me about Privileged Lady. You are definitely a divine being here. You have access to a lot of things in the spiritual realm. You're very privileged, male or female. You have the keys to this person's healing, possibly. Three of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Yeah, you guys disconnected from this person. You no longer are wanting to recon uh, reconcile. You have evolved since you separated from this person. You have evolved. I feel like someone is trying to get on your level now in so many ways. With that privileged lady, like I said, that's the empress. That is someone who's not putting up with people, placing things that no longer serves her. And you're detaching. The cups are in the downward energy. So maybe the feelings that you have for this person is now over or they're gone. Seven of Wands. Wow, you gave up on this. You got tired. You gave up. You gave up on this person. Even though now they're, they're wanting to change their ways, grow up, be a little bit more mature, confess you any wrongs they have done, you know, trying to detach from anything that kept them bound. All they can do is sit back and think about you and thinking about the opportunity they missed with their twin flame, their other half. So when they possibly was married to, you know, it's like, it, it, I'm getting the energy. This person is like, wanted to reach out to you, feeling defeated, wanted to give up. See, now we got the emperor and the king of wands and the page of cups. Oh, wow. And the fool. Yeah, this person feels like a clown. <laughs> 
I hate to say that, but this person is now feeling like a clown because they were very immature in the past, possibly never gave you an apology or explanation of the things that they've done. Showing irresponsible, taking a leap of faith somewhere, and now they feel like a clown. Yeah. See, you're coming out as very mature with the King of Wands. You know what you want. You're very passionate about what you do. You're a natural leader. But with the Emperor, whoever this was, if this was a husband or a wife, this person abuse their power they didn't they didn't have that self-discipline energy not standing in their divine feminine or divine masculine energy they were entertaining the low lives i hate to say that but they were nine of wands the nine of swords this person can't get you off their mind with the thoughts card here nine of swords they can't get you off of their mind here collective they think about you day in and day out how basically they fucked up this relationship but i see that you're not allowing these obstacles that happen in this relationship to hinder you. You still have that fight left in you. Well, Six of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. This person is moving in very slowly now. The Knight of Pentacles is someone who's very reliable. Someone who's stable. This is probably one of the best knights in the deck. When the Knight of Pentacles put their mind to something, they're going to do it. They take their time with it. They don't rush anything. So I feel like this person is maybe getting their shit together so they can come back towards you. Or I feel like you guys are moving off on this person because maybe they took too long to bring you what it is that you deserve. But the Knight of Pentacles is someone who's of substance, someone who takes their time. They're not rushing anything. They're, they're wanting to build. They're working towards building something. This could be your energy where you're taking your time to move forward in your life and you're taking step by step. Yeah. This person doesn't feel at peace for some reason. They don't feel balanced without you. There's no harmony within their life. Possibly you're not wanting to heal, reconcile things with this person. But I'm getting their energy is kind of all over the place here. They still want to give you this offer. But it's like what they're bringing to you. Is it a lie? Can you trust it? But this person is definitely lonely without you. They don't feel any peace at all. They don't feel any peace, guys. All right, Scorpios. This is it for you. All right, so I'm going to stop it right there. Thank you guys so, so much for joining me in this reading today. I appreciate you guys so, so much. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.